Uh, I think this thing's at the limit. I was never really into hiking, but ever since I got my drone, I think I really started to appreciate the beauty of the mountains. When Anna and Zhao asked if I would join on the hike they planned, I was very hesitant in the beginning because I really wasn't sure if I could handle that. But after they dragged me up a couple of other mountains, eventually I decided to accept the challenge and join them. Hello. Good morning. Do you feel ready for the challenge still? Let's say yes. Let's say yes. I actually was really nervous. We're gonna make it somehow. Uh, I don't know why I wrote you. Yeah. Me neither. Good morning. How are you? Great. Mika, you were documenting the whole thing. Lucas and I am documenting the whole thing. Yes. Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Wow, this is crazy nice. Yeah. Never seen this in a train. I was gonna spend the next two days with eight people. Drow and Anna I knew for a while at this point. Lucas, Mika and Richard I've met before, but Sebastian, Nadine and Katharina I met for the very first time on this trip. Before we could start to hike, we had to get to the other end of Switzerland though. The first train took us from Zurich to Bern all the way to Visp. Our destination? The Barhorn. Not the highest peak in Switzerland, but the highest one that you can reach without any special equipment just by walking up. He needs the red light. The clouds are crazy low here. It looks awesome. This your next connections. The interlake service to Bern is your I think. Table. The second train ride was rather short and took us down the valley to Loik. Where we did spend some time waiting for the bus. Better than sitting on the ground. In Turtman, the cable car got us up the first 700 meters in altitude. You'll share your... It was quite a cozy ride, to say the least, but the view was really gorgeous. Some enjoyed it more than others, though. Feeling comfortable? Mm. Are we there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, final, final stop. Time to get out. <laughs> I wonder what that does. <laughs> the big red one. <laughs> <sighs> Just one more time. Cool cuts in the back. So two trains, one bus, one gondola. We can find another the start. Bus. Yeah, yeah. It took us only like what four and a half hours, huh? Do you guys know how high oh, we are uh, now? It's getting cold. Oh, I'm so high, man. <laughs> 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 That's what I meant. Sleep that MJ <laughs> was the best. No, no, no idea. The first couple hundred meters are always the hardest because your whole body needs to get used to the sports again. Hiking is an interesting thing, even though you're walking with this big group of people, everyone is just kind of in their own head, in their own mind, taken in nature, thinking about things. Lonely mountain. Three hours to go. Everyone's taking pictures everywhere.
You're the coolest. I already beat in the Pokemon League. You beat the Pokemon League? Yes. When did that happen? When I was 11 years old. Wow. I wanted to be the very best. Little break. Two hours, 15 minutes according to the sign. Yeah, the sign is live. Fortunately, we don't have to go down today. We're gonna stay at the hut overnight and tomorrow the real hike's gonna begin. And then party tonight. Tonight, of course, because we need to Stay awake until 5 a.m. until we walk, right? <laughs> yes, that's the whole plan. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not worth sleeping because we need to start at 5 a.m. again. It's kind of crazy how... Oh, how... I'm a Disney princess. Ah, uh, <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> how could I miss it? With your beautiful hair? I know. You'll always be a pr Disney princess in my heart. Nine companions. So be it. The fellowship of the Barhorn. We won't go through the mines though. Don't die. The twists are crazy. So they built this here for hydropower. That's why they make electricity up here. So this hike was your idea, right? Yeah. <laughs> How did you come up with it? Joe wants to go to Kili. Joe wants to go up Kilimanjaro. Yeah, so for you, this is just a test. For me, it's to test my breathing. But then we were looking for higher spots, and then it was there. Highest hike of Europe. Highest hike of Europe, that's, that's a bold claim. <laughs> Highest hike of Europe without any climbing involved. It's then, crazy for you, it's just a test. Then for me, it's like the, well, we, like the kind of the goal because of all the hikes in the last weeks were test hikes for me. <laughs> for this one? Yeah. But we often go hiking. I'll let you know the next ones. If sure. you survive this one. <laughs> if I survive this one. Yeah. If we all survive this one. We had great weather all day, but at this point clouds started slowly creeping over the mountaintops, casting a shadow over the whole valley, and we still had over an hour to go to reach our hut. But we didn't think about that. Not when you see this. What did you just see? The hut! <laughs> oh, up there, I see it now. <laughs> Finally. Finally! The first waypoint. Yeah, well. Look at the snow up there, that's insane how thick it is. Oh, oh but that can cause oh. an avalanche. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's. We don't a need lot to go snow. through that, right? What do you of think? Of course, that's, that's our peak, right? What the from, hell? From the I mean, this should be a. Oh, crap. Oh. No, it can't be, but this is. I see that one. No. This is where they all died up there because of the clouds. The well, clouds killed them. The killer clouds. The clowns. <laughs> because of the clouds in the area. No, because the it was killed them. The, it was. They couldn't see anything. It was so cold, and everyone died. So, please film the cloud. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty-five minutes. The first group is about to arrive. There's the hut. <laughs> The last part was definitely the hardest, but I guess it's worth it because you can rest on the hut all night. And then the real part is insane. I'm so done already. My legs started cramping a bit already, so that should be interesting tomorrow. But no matter what, we're definitely gonna make it. 